So today we're going to look at freemusic.org. This is the first site we're looking at in our series on music for video production. It distributes music under a Creative Commons licensing. I have the site queued up. Let's take a look. So I just looked at freemusic.org for a little bit. We said we were going to check these sites out and, and compare them based on the music quality, the user experience, the feature set, and the price. So when I checked out the music, I, I would have to say that I'm, I was pretty impressed. Uh, there were a lot more acoustic instrumentation than I expected. The samples sounded really good. And overall, the best part was the variety. They had everything from trip hop to classical. The worst part about the music quality was probably the fact that there was so much and that there was a lot of experimenting. A lot of the musicians were putting up maybe more of ideas. Um, you want to be able to jump in there and find some stuff that's really good. Maybe it's not right, but you know, it's, it's high quality. You might need it another time, another day. And so this is not quite the case here, but really overall, there was still a lot of great music. The user experience. I had a great time looking at this site. Considering it's a nonprofit, it was a really well working site. It was snappy overall, and I had no problem getting around and finding things I needed. Probably the best part was that the menu system and how it was so easy to find the genres. It was, it was really neat that once you played a song, it graded out and you knew that you had played it. Um, finding information about the song really was no hassle at all. You listen to a piece, you liked it, you downloaded it, there it is on your computer. So the, the only real complaint I had for the user experience is when you wanted to fast forward in a song, you have to click on the plus to add it to your playlist. And then a window shows up that has your playlist in it. That's okay, you know, it's nice, it pops up in front. And then you sort of have to expand that out and then Inside of there, your song starts playing, then you can zip forward in the song. So that was kind of frustrating that it was sort of a whole bit of a jump to get into the player. So one of the big features of the site is that it, it's there to create a community of musicians. I started a profile. It was very easy to go in there and see how I could even add a blog post. I could create a playlist and that could be public and actually contribute to the community and add to it, even if I wasn't necessarily um, going to create a piece of music. The curators gave you a great way to sort of sift through the mass of music that's on the site and really find something that's going to work for you. Um, and if not, it's just sort of a great way to find some music you might like. So the price. Everything on the site is free, so there's really no, no way to complain about the the price at all, but the licensing is, is very particular. Um, yes, everything is free. Not everything can be used for commercial use. So we really won't be able to use this site much for finding a, a piece of music for global health policy, but I had a great time looking at it and it is a great site we're probably going to use in the future. So next up is iStock Audio. This is the first of three websites that we're going to look at that distribute music under royalty-free licensing. I'm very excited to check it out. We'll see you next time.